keep your dream alive because it might come true someday. Recently, I had the chance to interview a stuntman and if you haven't seen it, you can check out the video right here. <laughs> and what really inspired me about that interview, and hopefully some of you guys who saw it also, was how he talked about realizing a dream which seemed almost impossible to begin with. So that's gonna be what this vlog is all about. If you have a dream, something you can picture deep inside, something you can realize, imagine, visualize, then why do it? It's easier to just relax and just picture your dreams without ever doing anything about them. But there's something thrilling about actually taking action and trying to realize your dreams. Now, there's no guarantee in life, but for all you know, you could be hit by a truck tomorrow and be hospitalized or even be dead. So, there's no guarantee. You may not realize your dream, but for that reason, it's really important to just enjoy the process of trying to pursue your dream. And that's pretty much it. Figure out what your actual dream is. And then just immediately take action. And make sure that you're enjoying the process. That way you can't fail. Because in the end, it's all about the enjoyment you get. One more thing. I just realized that actually a year has passed since I lost St. Grant, which was my way of trying to pursue my dreams. Now, an important part of that process is you guys. Like, if I had no audience for my videos or anything, there would be no point in this. So whenever you share a video, watch the stuff, comment, whatever it might be, it's like, that means the world to me. Um, Actually, since I decided to try and pursue my dreams with this project, more than a year has passed now. So, let's end this vlog with some of my favorite moments from the year which has passed. It was like martial arts ignited a fire inside of me. My passion for martial arts and all of its aspects, self-defense, meditation, competition, sparing, and ultimately self-knowledge kept increasing. Inspired by YouTubers such as Casey Neistat and Shane Faison, I come up with Zen Dragon. My way of using martial arts to inspire, educate and entertain people from all walks of life. If the martial arts content I create inspires someone to do better at school, grow as a martial artist, do better as a parent, 
or pursue their passion, whatever it may be, then Send Dragon is making a positive impact. This is a katana, or better, this is a representation of a real katana. It's a wooden katana. Martial arts became my constant stabilizing force. It's so called yeah. strength, the yang, and flexibility, the yin thing, and, and, and exactly. have people try to reach a balance, strike a balance. Yeah. So, so finally, like, from tricking and, and pursuing your passion, is there anything you've learned which you feel can help others in any field, regardless of whether it's tricking or anything else, perhaps? Um, I'm going to say then more of a um, technical approach to a philosophy. Um, recently I have realized that pretty much everything is just a skill. Uh, when they say you can do everything and such, it's not because potential is unlimited or the universe is all amazing necessarily. It's no. basically because everything that you deem worthy of learning is just a skill and it has been learned before because otherwise you wouldn't know about it, it wouldn't have been written about. So if you take that sort of calm and humble approach to it, this is just a skill, it's just a set of rules. If I learn it I, and, and master it, I can then do whatever you want to do with it, but not don't put things on a pedestal like that. So that's something you'll never be able to do. Well, that requires some kind of special spiritual power or something. It doesn't. Everything is in the end a skill. It can make the world sound a little boring, but not necessarily. It's like getting a scientific explanation for something. It, it, it can make it boring unless you're creative about it. it, it it's beautiful mm -hmm. in its own sense. Just take some spinach, some fresh spinach. I always use organic just because I think it's, uh, it has more vitamins in it and it's healthier. So uh, you can take this and you can actually put it inside a blender, put some ice cubes in the blender, blend it all up, and then you have an ice cold juice with extra vitamins in it from the, from the, from the what it's called, uh, spinach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. So, yeah, very nice. Thank you. No problem. Not just being the cattle or the exalted to either harvest or murder as a region. This way. It looks a lot like fishmen. <laughs> and uh, not as strong as in your upper body. Um, taekwondo is really good, like lots of kicks. The one you think is fun, the most fun, that's probably the one you will get good at. Because that's the one you think is fun to practice. I think that's a great advice actually, in general in life. And it sort of brings us to talking about physical training. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want to say if someone's trying to get started but they have difficulty getting started with working out? It depends on if you are and if you're young or if you are a little older, if you have an injury, if you are a little muscular built or if you're skinny. But start out like two or three times a week, do a full body routine and go for like the first two weeks like 15 reps. I do want to leave you with this conclusion to follow your passion but there's not just one way to do it and just to keep things simple I would actually say it's just two ways of doing it but it is difficult either like you use your work to make room for 
passion or make money for passion, for instance, with skydiving. Or, or the work is actually a part of your passion. But, and, and, and just speaking of which, passion, it might as well be employed. Perhaps your passion is being there for your friends and riding your bicycle. And it's, that's not really uh, the point. The point is to try and become aware of what makes you happy. So you can try and prioritize that to the extent possible. And uh, I don't have any more answers than that. Uh, really, I don't. Because I think uh, life is always going to be a struggle. And perhaps that's also a good thing, speaking of the highs and the lows. Like if, if there was just one basic answer, perhaps it would be like a flat, boring experience.